That did not go well. There's something about Colorado. It's one of those places that leave a lasting impression on your soul that will draw you back time and time again. From its snow-capped mountain peaks to its lush alpine forest, it's hard not to get lost in the beauty of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Each time I visit, it brings back memories of summer camping trips with my family when I was a kid. Like many skiers, I don't live in the mountains or even near them. I have to catch a flight anytime I want to hit the slopes, and as such, I'm usually joined by several friends who are as eager to ski as I am. This year, for our annual ski trip, we chose Telluride, Colorado as our ski destination. Telluride is the resort where my girlfriend Kristen originally learned to ski, but this was a first-time visit for most of the group. Speaking of the group, let's make some introductions. This is my girlfriend Kristen and I. Kristen's been skiing off and on several times throughout her life, and I just switched over to skiing from snowboarding, and this is only my third time to ski. We were joined this year by two of our favorite humans, my sister Stephanie and her husband Matt. They're both from Houston and travel with us often. Also joining this year was Chris and Amy, two of our best friends that live here in Dallas. Last but not least, our friend Lee and her friend Hannah joined us on this adventure. They're also from Houston. We all flew into Montrose, a tiny regional airport in southwest Colorado that's one of the few available options when flying into Telluride from outside the state. We had groups coming from Dallas and Houston, so we coordinated our flights to arrive around the same time so we could catch a shuttle to take us together to Telluride as a group. Other than Chris forgetting his cell phone on the plane, it was a pretty smooth trip into Montrose. Once the entire group had arrived safely, we stuffed our luggage into a transport van and began the hour and a half long drive to Telluride. We rented this amazing four bedroom cabin through VRBO that had four and a half baths, two steam showers, and a six person hot tub. It was the perfect mountain getaway. I'll throw a link to the house in the video description below in case you're interested in checking it out. I highly recommend it. The cabin was about a three minute shuttle ride to Mountain Village, a modern alpine ski community nestled in the mountains above Telluride with restaurants, bars, shopping, and ski rental shops for visitors to use and enjoy. While we didn't stay in Telluride, we did make several trips into town. Getting between Mountain Village and Telluride is very easy via a gondola ride that takes less than 15 minutes. Originally called Columbia, this rough mining camp became a town in 1878, and the post office changed the name to Telluride after the valuable ore compounds of the element tellurium, a metalloid element that forms natural Telluride ores of silver and gold. In the 1890s, silver prices crashed and the miners moved on. Then in the 1970s, Telluride reinvented itself into a ski town and changed the character of the entire community, founding cultural events, introducing music festivals and performing arts throughout the season. Telluride is home to the highest concentration of 13,000 and 14,000 foot peaks in North America. Chris is trying to get up the hill. Pop it out, Chris, you got this. What's your first impressions of the mountains? I haven't experienced it yet. As far as the view <laughs> yeah. and the... Of these, of these double greens we've yeah, done so man, far, what do you, what's your shit. take? <laughs> but uh, like the overall, the, the, the valley and everything, it's, it's absolutely pretty. beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I can't imagine how beautiful it must be in the summer it too. It is yeah. awesome in the summer. I, I want to come up here in October. Yeah. With all these, look at these freaking aspens, man. Can you imagine all of them golden? Yeah. yeah. It'd be badass. Are we taking a photo? You are, Chef? Yeah. Man, view is great right here. Awesome, man. It is beautiful here. The runs are so wide. 
and there's nobody here. Yeah, yeah it's wide this open. Is what I'm it I was is like, so there's nobody great. here. This is Friday and nobody's here. Yep. Did you see me smiling? Yes. yes. <laughs> Telluride has a unique rating system for their runs, including single and double green and blue runs that allow new riders to more easily find trails suitable to their ability. While single greens are used primarily for ski classes, the double green trails are more comparable to green runs at other resorts. We found the green runs at Telluride to be very wide and optimal for new skiers learning to carve. Move. Move. It's the stopping. The the like yeah, that's why we're. That's the waiting so on Dave. That's yes. Dave is killing us. <laughs> Dave's killing us. So after yeah. that's what I say. Stay warm. I think it's a mountain. Guy. I think Dave is killing us. <laughs> <laughs> no, the mountain's good, but I haven't skied enough of it yet. So yeah. I like that it's not crowded. Like there's nobody yeah. here, which is really really nice. Yeah. And the powder up where we were was pretty good. Yes. I really like the stuff. I just want to see a it's been one of the most like beautiful mountains that I yeah. like I remember seeing on. I would agree with that. The views are amazing. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'd say not as much as that moment we came over in Vail. That, that can't be beat. I kind of just like took it in. This is gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. And we'll see. You want to do some of the blues? Yeah. Uh, Y'all going to explore some of the blacks this afternoon? or? I don't think we will because they're uh, the way they have their double blues here. Um, I would assume their, their blacks and their white diamonds are yeah. way pretty yeah. intense. <laughs> so, probably stick to the double blues. I enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple like where we were at the lift where you could take the single blue or the double blue and they would both be back up at the same place. Yeah. So you just have to make sure that you know where you're going. I can get warm. I might be because that double blue you did was short. I was like, man, normally I do that, but I just wasn't feeling it. I, I don't think it's necessary.
single blue runs are very similar to those at other Colorado ski resorts. The blue trails here are fantastic, offering a variety of different terrains to help you build confidence as a skier. The double blue trails at Telluride serve more as an introduction into steeper, more often narrow trails, and some small mogul hills that serve as beginner black diamond trails. That did not go well. Uh, uh, that hurt. Uh, I, I saw that one because it came over the top and there was another bump and then the ski just yeah. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I hit the other bump, I just launched yeah. me forward. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. This is uh, yeah, I mean, that is a really mild part. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's why I was like, they have to get an intermediate advance. Yeah. That's nope. super easy. Yeah. I think I'm good on the jumps. I'll just record y'all. That, that Hurt. It's okay, we can do a boot. Yours looks like it hurt a little bit. <laughs> it fucking hurt. I just smashed down to my shoulder. Yeah. We don't have to do it again, babe. That's fine. I just wanted to stop. No, if we go down, I'm fine with going down. I'm just not going to do jumps. Well, I got that out of my system. So we'll do Phyllis bypass to lower boomerang. We can't do Phyllis bypass all the way, or it'll take us down to that other one that we don't want to go to. It's essentially going to take us to the bottom and back to this. See how we all will ride this back up. We can do this again, or we go that way, and it gets us over to the lift that has all the other shit. So there's okay. Village Bypass, hard right on lower, what was it? Lower boomerang. Right. They're right. both double greens. Both so green. double green to a double green back to the bottom of this lift. Yeah, this okay. Track. I'll just follow you.
Why did you go this way if it's moguls? Should we just take us to moguls? Try to cut through the trees. Hey, right. try to cut at an angle through these trees. So, nice and slow. Tree skied. Yeah. My uh, left edge cut into powder and just. Yeah, stuck. that's why it's always tricky in there. Colorado, you've done it again. Telluride was everything we hoped it would be, and so much more. The pristine snow, the variety of trails, the ease of getting around the mountain, all of this on top of a great little ski town with plenty of options for great food and nightlife. This trip was the most fun I've ever had skiing or snowboarding, and left Kristen and I both longing for another ski adventure. Until next time, Colorado. <laughs>